we're not that special. Every time we look at the universe, we learn there's much more out there than we thought we thought. Now know there are at least a hundred billion other planetary systems in our galaxy. So an obvious question becomes, is there another home for the human race? We have the shot at finding life for the first time in human history. history, 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 history. This is the next generation telescope, the largest space telescope humanity has ever conceived of. And will show us a universe we have never seen before. There's, there's this sea of 100 billion dots. Getting that third dimension, the depth, is so critical. The Hubble telescope can only see what you can see with your eye. And the James Webb telescope looks at areas that the Hubble could never see. This telescope is going to capture the very first light of the universe. What we can do is fill in when did the first stars and galaxies turn on. James Webb is going to revolutionize studies. Another Earth is undoubtedly out there. The harder question we face right now, is there an Earth nearby? There are 300 or 400 different operations that have to occur to make this telescope actually come to life. The mirror is so big, we need to slice it into smaller segments, fold it up and unfold it on orbit. Huge sunshade has to deploy, which is the size of a tennis court. Now we've got to get the telescope unfolded before it gets too cold and the joints freeze up. And each one of these things has to work perfectly first time. We get one shot to get this telescope ready. Every team is so anxiously looking at their part. Is the membrane shaped right? Is that the right material? Is it going to hold it in place? Will it deploy? This is a chance to measure myself against one of the hardest problems man has set himself to do. We have to get this right. The first time, the only time. It's within our grasp to make a discovery that will change the world. It's not just a machine built by engineers and scientists. It's taking humanity on a journey.